Hello guys, I'm Adrian from Adoriani.com and I welcome you in our studio. So today I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to create a Pro Tools session. So let's get on. Here I am on Mac OS, but the workflow is pretty much the same as in Windows. So start the Pro Tools application. Okay. Here select create. And right here you can select whether you want to create a session or a project. The project option is for when you want to collaborate online with other Pro Tools users but uh, we will talk about this in another tutorial. So right now we want to create a Pro Tools session. We will select session. Then we will name this session. Well, you can name it whatever you want, but I will name this how to create a Pro Tools session. So how to create a Pro Tools session as you can see here you also have the option of creating a session from a template depending on the music style you're about to work on but I suggest you at the beginning at least to create your sessions from scratch for understanding the elements in your session and their purpose okay so in the file type I leave this to wave in the bit depth select 24 bit for now in the sample rate uh, section you can choose the sample rate for your session if you want to work in your session with samples and virtual instruments the 44.1 uh, will do the job however if you're planning to record vocals or real instruments in your session you can use 48 kilohertz so leave the IO settings as they are for now select interleaved and right here select location and select where you want to store your Pro Tools session I strongly recommend you something right now don't store your sessions on the same partitions as your Mac OS or your Windows system you never know when there will be a problem with your system so you can lose all your work and this is really important guys no matter the digital audio workstation you are using so in order to avoid all that select location as you can see, I have here Macintosh HD and the business partition. On the business partition, I created a Pro Tools folder. So hit open. Then if you want to see this dashboard, every time you start Pro Tools, select show on startup right here. Hit create. And there you are. You've created a new Pro Tools session. As you can see, right here you already have a track this is your metronome track when you are working in your session and you want to save your work go to file and save or you can use the option plus s shortcut another thing i want to suggest right here is to use the auto backup option so when you're working in your session and you're saving it pro tools also makes backups for you so, in case you have a plugin glitch or other problem, you can start your session again from a backup file and continue your work. In order to use this important option, go to Pro Tools menu, Setup, right here, Preferences, Operation, and right here you have the Auto Backup option. Here you can choose how many backups you want Pro Tools to save for you and here how often do you want Pro Tools to backup your session. As you can see right now I use 10 backups which are saved each minute. After you personalize this hit OK. If you want to open your session from a backup file go to File, Open Session and enter your session folder and in the session file backups folder right here you can select the backup file so we will select the most recent one 
and hit open. It asks me if I want to save changes or save. As you can see in the name of this session, it says recovered. So this means that the session we are using is opened from a backup file. So what you want to do immediately after you have opened your backup file is to save your session. So file, save, and you select your session right here and save, replace. If you want to close the session, go to file, close session, and of course save. Now, if you want to create another Pro Tools session, go to Pro Tools menu, file, create new, and you will have the earlier dashboard. So, this is it guys. If you have any questions about this or other topics you want us to discuss, comment below, visit us at adoriani.com or our Adoriani Facebook page. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay cool and make great music. Talk to you soon.